Hi folks, Tim here from High and Cheap Tech, and I feel a lot better than I did last night. Uh, obviously, uh, I uh, was worn out, tuckered, and but we did get through the videos on the Sabrin cloning part, but I never really got around to. I showed you the cable. I said, well, we don't have a use for this tonight. Well, now we do. We do, we do, we do. I finally figured out how to access it. Because I would, uh, uh, I plugged it in and it saw the USB drive, but it failed to, uh, address the, uh, the fact that it said there's no media in here. Uh, yeah. And so after going through disk management and partition management and all kinds of stuff, I can't even tell you how I got there, but I finally found out this partition, the... We'll show you the picture here. The uh, USB device. Now, the former boot device, the former storage and everything device had a collision and therefore it was offline because the actual boot device the new 512 SSD had the exact same signature. Uh-oh. Not gonna work. So. I cannot actually tell you how I got here. All I know is uh, I went to a program I had called mini tool partition manager and I just wiped the disk after that I was able to add it back as a you know, USB device and format it in NTFS yay and I took all my video files and transferred them over here uh, I only copied them. We're still not 100% sure. The new, yeah, uh, obviously the, the new SSD is working. I love Silicon Power products. I have no problems with them. They're efficient, they work. I've never had any failures. All my SSDs or micro SDs are silicon power except for one, which is the Samsung. And they all work super duper fantastic. So, you've seen the pictures and the amount of disk space available, hopefully. And, uh, that's all I have for tonight. Uh, this thing is now my go-to device. When I'm done with a video, it'll get uploaded to a file folder on here. On this external saver plug in USB external drive and kaboom we'll upload it to the web from there therefore not constantly shrinking the partition on the main PC drive because you never know when Windows is going to throw out some Horrible crap that takes up like 
800 gazillion gigabytes just to update it. I don't know. We'll see. <coughs> so a little congestion going. Now this toaster thing, if you've seen the picture, and yeah, it's rather large. But the nice part is you can unplug it, unhook it, set it up to the side, and the next time you need it, you put it up here and put it in the way. It does look like a toaster. I'll admit that, except all the toast that comes out of here is burned if you look at it. No, it, it works really well as an external SSD. It didn't take more than like a few minutes to transfer all the files. So, it does work. If you like this video, just remember, if you clone a disk, right after you clone it, wipe the partition on the one sitting in the A slot. Just kill it. And then you'll be able to yeah, repartition it and set it up as a new drive and have a ton of space. I got so much backup now, it's ridiculous. So that's all I got for tonight. This is just one of those that had to be done. And I'm glad to be back on the headphones with, so I don't have to talk loud. We'll catch you in the next one. Make sure to like us, subscribe to the channel, and for Christ's sakes, leave some feedback and tell us what you think. Thanks for watching.